Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the anaerobic respiration, the opposite of the aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration takes place when there is no oxygen, while the aerobic respiration takes place when oxygen is abundant. Both of them begin with the first step. They begin with the process of glycolysis, where the glucose molecule changes into two pyruvic acid molecules. And during that, we have two ADP molecules oxidized into two ATP and two NAD plus reduced into two NADH. From here, the change takes place. If there is oxygen, pyruvic acid undergoes the Krebs cycle to perform the aerobic respiration. While if there is no oxygen, two pyruvic acid molecules go under a process called fermentation. The fermentation is another way of addressing the anaerobic respiration. Fermentation has two types. We have acidic fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. In the acidic fermentation, the two pyruvic acid molecules change into two lactic acid molecules. And two ATP energy are produced. So, in the acidic fermentation, the glucose molecules change into two lactic acid molecules and an amount of two ATP molecules is produced. The glucose molecules So, in the acidic fermentation, the glucose molecule changes into two lactic acid molecules and an amount of energy of 2 ATP is produced. This takes place in muscles when the muscles exert a vigorous effort and it consumes up all the oxygen and there is no oxygen left so it carries out the anaerobic respiration through the acidic fermentation and in some kinds of bacteria. If oxygen becomes abundant again and the lactic acid is still present, the lactic acid changes once more to two pyruvic acid molecules and thus it undergoes the Krebs cycle to perform the aerobic respiration. This is the first kind of anaerobic respiration. The second kind is the alcoholic fermentation where the glucose molecule 
change this into 2 C <coughs> 2 H5 OH 2 ethyl alcohol molecules 2 carbon dioxide molecules are produced and 2 ATP molecules so the first one is called acidic fermentation because lactic acid is produced while the second is called the alcohol fermentation because acetyl alcohol is produced and this takes place in yeast fungus so this is the anaerobic respiration and we can notice that the amount of the produced energy is very low if it was compared by the aerobic respiration and this is it for today the next time we will begin talking about the respiration in man and until then i thank you for watching and see you next time